Hey Taurus, welcome to your mid-month reading. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all of your love and support. It means the world to me. I'm so thankful for you. We're going to be seeing what messages need to come through for you guys for the second half of March. See what you guys need to know or be aware of and anything Spirit has to tell you. Uh, we're going to get right into this, see what's happening, all right? This reading helps or resonates. So let me know by leaving a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Um, the more people that interact the more i will be doing readings for you so if you miss my face and you're like where the hell is jade where are the taurus readings at make sure you leave a like make sure you comment let me know that you're watching i'd greatly appreciate it um and yeah if you'd like to book a private reading with me the info's in the description box yeah let's get into this let's see what's going on for taurus we have um I think Venus just moved into your sign like the other day, so that should be pretty nice energy for you guys. Pretty complimentary. All right, we got that Venus energy. Make sure you really like loving and nurturing yourself, giving yourself the investments that you deserve. Even investing in like you know yourself, your health, your fitness, your the way that you take care of yourself, what you wear, treat yourself. If you're like, oh, I need new shoes or new clothes or whatever. Like, treat yourself. Like, that's a message just coming through. Since Venus is in your sign, I feel like that's just like, you know, a sign that you should invest in yourself. Okay, we have the unicorn. We also have the eagle coming out. What's going on for Taurus for the second half of March, 2023? So it's looking like you got some pretty. I want to say ginormous okay ginormous changes crow and the mouse we're gonna go with these cards you guys get extra cards in your reading yeah self-care bottom of the deck with the frog you need to really focus on the self-care self-love you have a lot on your plate i see that in the next couple of weeks you're gonna have a lot of shifts and changes that are occurring you can kind of sense it intuitively you can feel changes in the air you might have been kind of feeling a bit of a, a vibe lately or maybe the last week or so where you've been feeling a little bit nervous a little bit anxious a little bit uncomfortable trying your best to just keep things under control but sometimes Sometimes some things happen or come up out of the blue. Eagle, shout out to the eagle, bringing us change. Change that we weren't necessarily expecting or preparing ourselves for, right? And some of these changes that are occurring, you can't... Um, you can't prepare yourself for like it's just you're going to be tossed into a new cycle, tossed into a new direction. You're basically being pushed out of the bird's nest um, and you're like, oh my gosh, like oh, am I going to be able to handle this? Yeah, you're good. It's going to be great. Um, if you can try your best to remain flexible and keep like an open mind, that's the energy of the unicorn is keeping an open mind, remaining open minded and allowing things to happen. And don't just like jump to conclusions and assume like the worst <laughs> or like, you know, like keep yourself, keep your thoughts in check. You're really, really, really needing to rely and have faith on your intuition. Um, something about the full moon in Libra might be relevant. That's at the beginning of april so we're getting ahead of ourselves but um something about the full moon might be playing an important role or maybe the previous full moon which was in virgo maybe there's something that happened around then that might be kind of like correlating for these next few weeks so even like look back to when was that full moon what was what that was like a week or two ago i don't know it doesn't matter but like um there's some sort of cycle that's tying in with the the moon phases here and you know you're probably picking up on a lot of interesting energy you're probably having really vivid dreams or certain feelings memories or thoughts or ideas that pop up and you're needing to really pay attention to that you know you could be just like doing the most boring mundane duty task you could be just driving to work you could be putting away the dishes you could be doing something like like you could literally be just like doing nothing and like something just hits you a realization or a thought comes to you and you're like hmm interesting yeah that, that's most likely your intuition trying to tell you something or guide you to take some sort of action or like you can sense like changes in the air changes in the air changes coming spring is coming um there's something about like self-management self-management that's what i heard with the with the crow and the mouse like some of you guys are like super like hyper fixating on bettering yourself or like 
wanting to be the best you could ever be and that's amazing and that's great but some of you guys are like taking it to a level where it's becoming like full on like full tilt like you know how too much of anything can be bad <laughs> moderation is key so it's like as if you are you're really wanting to better yourself you're wanting to work on yourself you're this is the energy with the crow self-study um also really like learning and growing like this is definitely like self-development here and with the mouse it's like you might hyper fixate and be like i have to like get perfect at something or have to it's not good enough and like they could be a very self-critical energy so watch out for that too again some of you guys are being very critical of yourself or just like really harsh on yourself and you need to you need to be softer more kinder more gentler to yourself but there is like this deep there's this deepness um these next few weeks the last remaining of pisces season that you are having these deep thoughts about your purpose about your destiny about where you're going what you want for yourself in your future and it can feel overwhelming at times especially the changes that are coming in which is funny because what do eagles eat y'all what do eagles eat mice mice and you're like oh shit i'm gonna be swallowed whole don't worry life's got, life is not going to swallow you whole <laughs> but it does feel like the changes that are coming in are really significant a really big deal some of you will be going through like a, a spiritual awakening or another awakening right um some of you guys might be experiencing shifts in your abilities shout out to any light workers or any anyone of healing abilities or you're, you've been like looking into that even if you're in the early stages or if you've been on this journey for a long time it's like there's this big big development like massive growth like rebirth it's interesting taurus and so as you're dealing with all this intense freaking energy you really do need to take time out to nourish yourself to take care of yourself the frog shows up in a reading when maybe you've been neglecting yourself or it's a sign saying like you're probably gonna have a lot on your plate in the next couple of weeks um, even a lot of emotional things that could be coming up or just a lot of intense emotions that you're going to need to let out. Finding ways to deal with that, finding ways to channel it out, whether that be like exercising or creative endeavors or, you know, talking to someone, writing it out, like, you know, but finding a way to get it out of your system so that it doesn't stay locked up from within because it's just like, you know, it's like imagine you get a massage and they always tell you to drink a bunch of water after the massage because your body is now released of all these toxins it's like right now you are going through this purification process and you're needing to release the toxins it might be literal like some of you guys might be making changes to again like your health or like your fitness or your diet or something like that and so it's like you're literally going through a detox some of you is just symbolic of like going through a decluttering in your life and your relationships and your surrounding environment uh, maybe it's symbolic of a little bit of spring cleaning maybe you got to like sort through some things throw some trash out you know maybe it's maybe you're in need of a, a deep clean a declutter so lots of different messages take what fits with you obviously some of this might be playing out the next few weeks give or take you know times fluid whatnot um but yeah let's get into this let's pull some tarot messages for you guys now let's see the specifics of what is happening for the next couple of weeks the second half of march for taurus Sun Moonizing Venus for the second half of March 2023. What's going on for Taurus? What do my Taurians need to know or be aware of or look out for regarding the second half of March 2023? Show me clearly what do my Taurians need to know. We have the Ten of Pentacles. That's a beautiful energy. Really here for that. Nine of Swords Reverse. Great. <sighs> Huge relief, you guys. If you've been stressed out, about something you're finding the solution or you're finding a way out or you're you're clearing out a lot of blocks you're also receiving some sort of help or assistance or help is on the way with the two of wands two of pentacles temperance and the magician also the seven of pentacles so you're gonna have a choice to make in the next couple of weeks or you might be in this stage right now where you're trying to figure out what to do or how to handle the situation but i do see you have a decision coming up and this decision is what brings in this big old mighty ginormous change like it is a big it's a big deal and that's why it's so important that you follow your intuition like also i didn't even tell you show you guys or tell you guys underneath the frog which we were saying like self-care and all that shit well tying in with the intuition which the unicorn intuition third eye 
which again crow intuition spirituality we also have the owl oh my gosh and the lamb all four of these cards talk about the need to really follow your inner guidance follow your inner voice so and so here's the problem or okay it's not a problem but <laughs> it's just like here's the challenge here's the challenge that you're gonna overcome taurus is your brain your ego your logic is going to kick in and it's going to try and convince you every single reason why you should not do something why you should hold on to the fear why you should stay safe in your comfort zone or stay put or why you should wait or why the timing's not right or you're not ready like your brain your ego your logic is going to try and come up with every single excuse as to why you shouldn't give something a chance but that's going against what your heart wants follow your heart we have the oh, wow the golden egg underneath that you guys are needing to follow your heart and follow your intuition your fear your brain is going to try and tell you and convince you not to do that but you're going to do it anyways you're gonna say fuck the fear i'm doing it anyways i'm gonna follow my gut my instincts my inner voice and when you do that owl this is gonna bring in such blessings and fulfillment it's going to be a treat. It's going to be a sweet old treat. It's going to be a sweet old reward, okay? So that's just something to keep in mind. That was like extra, extra stuff. But I felt like it was necessary because, again, you have this big old choice that you're going back and forth about, about the direction you're going down or, you know, waiting for the right timing, waiting for the moment, the green light, the thumbs up. It's like you have it now. Um, it's time you've been waiting seven of pentacles was underneath the magician so you've been waiting for this moment you've been waiting to take some sort of action or make some sort of move um some of you literally could be moving or traveling or planning something like that <sighs> you're weighing out options or your spirit wants you to keep your options open or consider the following or like make a if some of you got to make a pros and cons list that might help you with this decision but it's like I feel like you have more than one choice or more than one path that you could go down. Um, it's all going to lead to the same outcome. It's all going to lead to the desired destination, right? But you can choose what route you want to take, what path you want to take, what steps you want to take to get there, okay? So there's just like a lot to consider. So you might be going a little bit back and forth. You might be feeling a little bit indecisive. We do have saggy energy out here. Um, some of you, this could be even regarding like your school or your studies or learning, higher level of learning um, or a higher level of commitment for some of you. It's also tying in with healing. Um, for some forgiveness. Okay. Now, the main cards that came out is Ten of Pentacles, which is so freaking gorgeous. I love this here. You are really feeling secure. You're really feeling confident. These next few weeks, you are just starting to see the efforts really establish itself really like cement it's here to stay it's not going anywhere there's a lot of support around you there's a lot of support from your loved ones friends family you're coming into a time of your life tours where people who are around you are good for you and if there are people around you that aren't good for you they are being left behind we're heading into a new zodiac year by the way aries new moon um that is on the 20th so very soon <laughs> that's monday i think so we have a new moon we have two aries new moons coming up double new moons is gonna be a wild one anyways we are starting this new zodiac year and we're starting this new cycle and we ain't got time for the bullshit we don't have time for the crap we don't have time for the people that stress us out or, or drain our, our energy drain our our money <laughs> our pockets our love you know we don't have time for that nine of swords reverse you are not entertaining situations that are feeding your negativity or your you know just none of that crap you are being very selective here king of swords of who you surround yourself with even for some i gotta be honest with the ten of pentacles coming out with the king of swords and the nine of swords reverse some of you guys could be distancing yourself from certain family members or there's certain family members that although yeah okay you're related by blood and oh they're family you don't have to keep them in your life if you don't resonate with their energy just because oh well, they're, they're my mother they're my cousin they're my whatever fill in the blank it's all at the end of the day on a that's on a human level those are just labels right they're just labels to make us stay put or put up with treatment it's like an excuse oh well i can't just cut them off because 
uh, their family. It's like, well, if they treat you like garbage or if they disrespect you, or if they're always constantly crossing boundaries, you know, like they're going to reach a point where you're going to need to stand up for yourself. And so some of you could even be standing up for yourself. Right. And in the past, you were nervous about it or you felt like you couldn't. Now you are really in your power. We have the king of swords out here, Aquarius energy. Some of you may have Aquarian placements. Um, and this, that's the rebellion. Right. So it's like you're being rebellious in a way where maybe in the past you wouldn't stand up to these people or like someone of higher status but it's like it, the next few weeks you you found this courage you you got balls <laughs> Taurus you're really finding your balls your voice your strength your you know and you're not afraid to like stand up for yourself or stand up for people that you love or you know there is like a very protective energy coming out and you're like no one can cross this no one can come at me right and it's all from good intentions too it's not like you're trying to be an asshole or start shit or start drama but ultimately it's just like you don't have time for tangled messes you don't have time for people to take advantage of you or to treat you like garbage one day and then love on you the next day you don't have time for any of that wishy-washy crap and again you're being very decisive of what you want and what you want to bring into your life in the near future in this new zodiac year that's beginning and so it's basically it's like if it doesn't add value to my life if it doesn't add to my love if it doesn't add to my pockets if it takes if it drains from me it's got to go if it doesn't bring me peace or fulfillment or happiness it's got to go and so that's great right you're really following your instincts there and again you might get a little bit nervous at times wondering am i being dramatic am i just being you know you second guess yourself or that rabbit energy right where you start doubting yourself if you push through that anyways anyways let's see um hmm what do you need to know about this choice here the two of wands and the two of pentacles let's look into this what should taurus know about this two of wands two of pentacles she'll make her Tied the two of wands two of pentacles what's this choice about for taurus somewhere nice in venus for the second half of march Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles for Taurus. Show me clearly. Thank you. Hermit. So Spirit really was urging you when you are making this choice, literally, <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so Spirit is urging you as you are trying to make up your mind or trying to decide what you're doing about this situation. Spirit is urging you to spend time alone. Do not let the peanut gallery try to distract or, you know, feed certain ideas or thoughts. That you, like, Spirit really wants you to make this decision on your own. It's a solo decision, okay? I just heard solo practitioner. So maybe some of you guys are make, making a choice, like, do you want to work in some sort of partnership or would you rather do it alone? And some of you are like, fuck it, like, I'd rather do this alone, <laughs> right? Um... For some, it's like you could be choosing to leave behind like a company or an environment to like, or for some, it's like you could be making the choice to move, like moving from your home. Maybe you live with your family or whatever, and you're making a choice to branch off or to be alone or like, you know, branch out. And again, for work, some of you guys could be deciding like, okay, I'm quitting. And maybe I'm starting my own branch. I'm starting my own line. I'm starting my own business. Like for some, that's that could be part of the shift that's taken place not for everybody of course but um anyways this choice at the end of the day whatever this choice is that you have you would be best to make this decision on your own take your time and don't let anybody try to rush you okay seven of pentacles observe take stock where you're at where you're going what's working what isn't what needs adjustments and then go from there but there's a lot to reflect on there's a lot for you to be aware of there's a lot for you to watch out for and be very considerate of this is virgo energy so again tying in with the full moon virgo that we had um like a week a couple weeks ago give or take <laughs> um so is there anything else for you should know about this choice or this decision let me clearly <clears throat> two of wands two of pentacles what should taurus know about this decision that's coming up High priestess reverse see this that's where you're doubting yourself or you're having doubts about your intuition why are you having these doubts let me know 
No, not not. I'm not saying let me know, Taurus. I'm <laughs> asking Spirit. Let me know <laughs> why is Taurus having these doubts. Let me know. I'm gonna clarify the High Priestess reverse. Why is the High Priestess reverse for Taurus? Why is Taurus having doubts here? There's still things that are hidden. There's still things that haven't been revealed to you yet. See, because when we when the High Priestess reverse, look at how these are like masks in the distance. So there's still something that hasn't been. You're waiting for more information. You're waiting for more info, insights before you fully commit or fully make this decision. Because once you make this decision, it feels like you can't come back from it or it's like you can't return to how things used to be. So it's a pretty big deal. Again, before you take this leap off the cliff, you want to make sure that you're not going to just like die you know kill yourself by accident you're you want to be a little cautious and that's fair and that's totally uh responsible reasonable we have the nine of cups wait what am i clarifying here high priestess reversed okay this nine of cups this decision is about a wish fulfillment okay let me specify the high priestess reverse why is the high priestess reverse here what is about to be revealed what was from the light for taurus this is a pisces by the way High Priestess Reverse for Taurus. Why is this here? Why is there hesitation? For the High Priestess Reverse for Taurus. Nine of Pentacles Reverse. Again, there's doubt here. You're questioning something. You're like, you're not fully... You're not certain. Okay, so you know what? If you're not certain about this choice, don't decide on anything until you're 100% certain, okay? Until you're 100% sure. Don't react or make long-term decisions based off temporary emotions and feelings, right? When you're in a really bad frame of mind and you're having a breakdown, the last thing you want to do is make some life-altering change or choice and then, like, you know, when things calm down, you're like, fuck, I regret that, right? You don't, or, or vice versa. You're in the best freaking mood and then you're like, yeah, I'm going to commit to this and then the next day you're like shit <laughs> i actually don't want to do that right don't let these emotions whether good or bad they can definitely blind you or get in the way or just just make sure you're in more of like a neutral balanced frame of mind right and that's temperance that's temperance it's like spirit wants you to make this decision when you are in your most strength and your most control most like power okay don't make this decision when there's hesitation, when there's doubt, when you're not feeling it 100%, okay? You will probably regret it. <laughs> so, Spurs just saying, wait. And literally, the two of wands at the bottom, triple confirmation. With the five of cups and the seven of swords, you might need to plan for this. And some of you, this choice that you have to make, this choice might not be the easiest it might be like a head over heart decision or it might really pull at your heartstrings but ultimately you got to do what's best for you okay even if it's hard or even if it's possibly upsetting to other people again however this applies so i'm gonna leave your reading here taurus that's what spirit wanted me to tell you I hope that this was helpful and insightful. If it was, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info's in the description box. And yeah, Taurus, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.